Hi, I'm Pam Moran. I'm superintendent of Albemarle County Public Schools. And I want to say to our community, welcome to 2016. Our kids are all back in schools, all 26 schools spread across our 726 square miles. And as I know, this time of the year always brings two things to the work of, of the superintendent and staff and community. One happens to be the work that we do in our budget. And the other that tends to impact all of us happens to be the weather. One of the things that I think is really important for us all to consider is that when we know that we're going to be facing bad weather, that it is an inconvenience, it's a frustration, but it's also a safety issue for us in our schools. Many of our highways and roads, whether it's uh, some of our main roads that as you get farther out in rural areas or our gravel roads, are roads that are really difficult for our buses to be able to navigate or even turn around on in bad weather. So oftentimes when we need to close schools because of bad weather, um, we may even need to extend that for a day or more as a result of the condition of roads um, and the temperatures that we're experiencing. I know that when we have those inconveniences, one of the most important things that we can do is to communicate as quickly and as informatively as possible with our community so people are aware because it does affect everybody who goes to work in terms of childcare as well as those who teach our children. So here's some things that I really suggest that people do this time of the year. First and foremost, if you've not signed up for our electronic notification system for schools, I would encourage you to do that. At the end of this today, there will be a link that you can take a look at and be able to go there and look at what's the process. But in a nutshell, if you are not signed up for our electronic notification system, you can just call your child's school office and let them know that you would like to be put on that system and they will do that. You'll need to um, provide some information, both email as well as phone number to be used to, to get you into that system. And what that means is that if for any reason we believe that it's important to close schools the night before or the morning of a day where we're experiencing bad weather, you will get notified by that electronic notification system. That can come very early on the morning where we're experiencing bad weather because we know that parents like to know as early as possible so that if they have to make child care arrangements, they can do that. So we would appreciate that anybody that's not in the system that you consider getting into the system. Um, there are certainly the option that we always are also posting on Facebook. We post on Twitter. We also contact all of our local media. But the fastest way to find out typically happens to be through the communication system. The other thing that I would encourage you to do is to take a look at your child's after school plans in the event of an emergency because if we have a snow day where we needed to close schools early, one of the things that we want to do is to make sure that all of our children get safely to wherever they need to go um, on an emergency basis. Sometimes parents' plans change over the course of a year and you've maybe forgotten or not taken the time to notify the school of a change in plans. So we would ask you to really make sure that you've reviewed that and that if there is a change in the way that your child's uh, plans would occur on a snow day, that you let your school know so that that can be changed and they will know exactly what to do. Um, the other thing that, that we always are concerned about are our teen drivers. And we have a number of our young people, our teenagers, who drive to and from school on a daily basis in our high schools. We always worry in inclement weather about putting inexperienced drivers out on the roads, and that is one of the considerations that we have in terms of school closings, among many others. And so one of the things that I would encourage you is if you have a teen driver is to review your plans for that day, um, and particularly if you have a child who's an inexperienced driver, to look at really alternative plans for them to get to and from school if it looks like that there's going to be inclement weather on a, on a day in the, the coming months. Lastly, what I want to do is to talk about our process. A lot of people uh, think that how we open or close schools based on the weather is rather mysterious. The reality is we go through a data analysis process that is uh, very uh, comprehensive so that we are watching multiple feeds from um, uh, meteoro meteorology uh, stations. We are looking at uh, the weather feeds from our local forecast area uh, media. We are looking at information that comes in to us from uh, the Virginia Department of Transportation. 
we will contact our local police and our state police. We talk to other school divisions because one of the things that we know is our buses also drive into and out of a number of counties that surround us and sometimes their conditions are different than ours, sometimes worse, sometimes better. Um, we also put a boots on the ground crowd of uh, uh, folks from our transportation department, our, our team that goes out as snow patrol to scour the county and they report in on what the conditions look like. All of that happens before five o'clock in the morning, at which point I receive a call from the director of transportation, and the chief operations officer. We go through the data, we consider all of the data, and then a recommendation is made to me and I make the decision to either continue to open our schools or to close our schools for the day. That in a nutshell is the process. There's a video that you can watch for more details on that. And we just uh, really appreciate that you are able to be um, patient with us as we go through the next couple of months and potentially experience a day where we need to close schools or either to open schools late or to close schools early because all of those are options depending on when a weather system moves into the area. So thank you and I just wanted to share that.